Good afternoon, Namaste, dear student. Welcome back once again in this distance teaching learning class organized by Fabson. We are discussing set. Okay, in last class we discussed different types of set like singleton set, empty set or null set, finite set, infinite set. Okay, now today we are going to learn set relation. That means, what is the relationship between the set? or one what is the relationship among the set all right on the basis of the types of element contained by two or more set okay there may be two set or there may be three set they are defined under the following relationship like equal set what kind of set are called equal set and what kind of set are set to be or are called equivalent set overlapping set disjoint set Okay, subset. All these things we'll discuss today in detail. All right. Okay. Number one, equal set. Two or more set are said to be are said to be equal if if they contains contains exactly the same elements exactly the same elements all right like example a 1 2 3 4 and b equal set two or more set are said to be equal if they contains exactly the same elements or uh, exactly same elements and same number here in set a 1 2 3 4 and set b also here also 4 4 2 2 1 1 3 3 okay and these two sets are called equal set they contains exactly same number and same elements all right so they are called equal set we can write equal set as a equals to b if a equals to b then you can say that these two sets are equal all right okay now you can uh, you can write another example also suppose set a a a e i o u and set b o i e a u then here they can both set containing same element same number and exactly same element i mean to say so these two set are also equal set okay cardinal number cardinal number is same example suppose p set equals to 1 2 3 4 and q suppose 5 6 7 8 okay two or more set are said to be equivalent if their cardinal number now please here you can check your cardinal number of set p 4 and cardinal number of set q is also 4 count number 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 so both set having cardinal number same 4 4 so they are called equivalent set okay and they are denoted as p is equivalent to q all right two or more set are said to be equivalent if the cardinal number is same okay now overlapping set two or more set more set are set to be overlapping set if if they contain at least 
वन एलिमेंट कॉमन एक्जेक्टली हो ना प्लीज यार टू और मोर सेट आर सेट टू बी ओवरलैपिंग सेट इफ दे कंटेन एटलीस्ट वन एलिमेंट कॉमन ओके देर शुड बी एटलीस्ट मिनिमम वन एलिमेंट शुड बी कॉमन दैट मीन्स लेट मी राइट एग्जाम्पल सो इट विल बी क्लियर फॉर यू एग्जाम्पल सपोज ए वन थ्री फाइव सेवेन एंड बी वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव यू कैन चेक यर हियर द एलिमेंट वन 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 थ्री थ्री एंड फाइव आर कॉमन सो हियर द एलिमेंट्स वन थ्री एंड फाइव आर कॉमन इन बोथ सेट सो वन ऑल्सो इन सेट ए as well as in b 3 also in set a as well as in b and 5 in set a as well as as well as in set b so this type of set are called overlapping set if they contain at least one element common okay now you can write in the, you can represent this set in this way also in diagram also we can represent please here common please first write common element a set a set b okay common element 1 common element 3 and common element 5 and please write the remaining elements of set a 1 3 5 already gone already written so remaining 7 then in set b 1 3 5 1 3 5 already written so remaining element please write okay we can represent overlapping set in diagram also is that clear so this type of set is called overlapping set all right disjoint set two or more set are said to be disjoint if they do not contain any element common all right there won't be any element common like <coughs> a equals we can write 1 2 3 4 and b 5 6 7 8 you can check here there is no any common element see in set a 1 2 3 4 and in set b 5 6 7 8 all right so you can check here there is no any common so this type of set are called disjoint set in diagram also you can you can represent this please write all the elements of set a 1 2 3 4 4 this is set a And set B five, six, seven, eight. This is set B. Is that clear? There is no any common element. Okay. Or set is set to be be the subset of. subset of another set if every element if every element is also the also the element of other set and symbolically and it is denoted by you can write it is denoted by by this symbol this is this symbol denote subset now please here a set is said to be the subset of another set if every element is also the element of other set okay let me write some example then only you will get example Suppose natural number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I am taking natural number from one to ten. And suppose a, you can take 
1 2 3 4 then b 2 4 6 8 and 10 this year i have i am taking here three set one set natural number that is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 elements of the set and another set a 1 2 3 4 and another set b is 2 4 6 8 10 okay now please here in uh, in set n there are more number sorry more elements okay so in set a there are four elements in set b there are uh, there are five elements in set a there are 10 elements so let's see here in set a 1 here also 1 here 2 here also 2 here 3 here also 3 here 4 here also 4 so here a is a subset of n is that clear every element of set a are in set n ok if every element of set a are in set n then a is a subset of n all right understood in this case every element of set a are in set n similarly now please check here 2 4 6 8 10 here also 2 4 6 8 10 here also every element of set b are also in set n so b is also subset of n b is a subset of n all right understood okay question <coughs> right whether the following whether the following peers of set are overlapping or disjoint okay number a you can write here a factors of 12 and b factors of 18 number b question is p equals to first five multiple of 4 and first five multiple of seven now please here write whether the following pair of set are overlapping or disjoint there may be overlapping or there may be disjoint also a factors of 12 that means 3 6 9 12 and factors of 18 that means 3 6 9 12 15 18 so whether this set is disjoint or not or overlapping please check check now p first 5 multiple of 4 and q first 5 multiple of 7 ok these two question i am leaving for you as home assignment ok now another question write possible subset possible subset of Now already we discuss subset. Okay, if there are two sets A and B, if every element of set A are also in set B, then you can say that A is subset of B. Okay, then here here it is given that set A equals to one, two, three. Okay, then formula it will be two raised to power n. Then how many subset you will get? 2 raised to power n then 2 how many elements are there 1 2 3 then 2 to the 4 to the a 2 into 2 into 2 
8, then we will get here 8 subset. Okay. <coughs> now, possible subset of A, possible subset of A, subset of A equals we can write 1, 1 is subset of A, 2, 3, 1, 2, 2, 3, then 1, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, then 1, 2, 3 itself and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, now again null set or 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. How many number of subset you will get you over here? 8. All right. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. Now, write the question number 1. Now, question number 2. Okay. Please write all the possible subset of given question. All right. Okay. Now, another topic we are going to discuss here, set operation. First, union of two sets and number two, intersection of of two set. All right. Now let me discuss both in detail. Okay. Now union of two sets. Union of two set. Union. When the elements, when the elements of two set are listed. together in a single set. It is called, it is called union of two set and it is denoted by denoted by this symbol. Okay. When the elements of two sets are listed together in a single set and it is called union of two sets. Okay. Let me write example then you will understand this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. Then B you can write 4, 5, 6, 7. Then how to write A union B? Then A union B, you can write this as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Please write first. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. Now, here one, there is no, uh, there are no 1, 2, 3 in, in set B. 4, 5. 4, 5 already written. Repeating elements, you have to re, uh, write only once. Okay. Then 4, 5 already written. So, 6, 7. Is that clear? Repeating elements, you have to write only once. In union of two sets, we can write or we can represent both set in a single set. Okay? And in diagram also, you can show this is set A, set B. This is set B. Please write common elements first. 4, 5, 4, 5. 4, 5. Then 1, 2, 3. Remaining elements. Please write. Then 6, 7. Okay. This, this is called union of 
two sets A and B. All right. Okay. Intersection of two sets. Okay. When the common common elements of the two sets of the two sets are are listed in separate set it is called it is called intersection of two set okay let me write one second example and it is denoted by denoted by this symbol okay now let me write example example 1 suppose a 1 2 3 4 5 then set b 4 5 6 7 8 all right so a intersection b means common element okay that means what are the common element 4 5 here also 4 here also 4 5 that means 4 5 okay when the elements of the two set are listed in a separate set it is called intersection of two set and it is denoted by this symbol this symbol denotes intersection okay now in diagram also we can show this here this is set a this is set b please write first common element 4 5 the remaining elements 1 2 3 6 7 8 6 7 8 and this portion is called intersection this portion is called intersection understood the shaded part is called intersection of two set all right uh, question 1 if a equals to 1 2 3 4 5 and b equals to 2 4 6 8 then find a union b number b find a intersection b then if there are no common elements in both set then you can denote by phi okay then another question question number 2 if p equals to 2 3 5 7 and q equals to 3 6 9 illustrate them illustrate them in n factors of factors of 15 then find m union n number a number v find m intersection n is it clear i am leaving these three question 1 2 3 as home assignment okay thank you very much